All right, so here we go again. Great guitar build off 2023. Man, I've been looking forward to this since the beginning of the last one. Uh, I had so much fun. I learned so much. Had a lot of fun designing the Mach 5, doing the, the tailpiece and the makerspace, all the crazy stuff that I learned last time that I'd never tried before. And uh, I'm gonna do the same thing this time, except I'm gonna make it even more complicated because instead of just doing a scratch build, uh, I'm also gonna do the freestyle. And I don't even know what I'm gonna do for the freestyle. I have this like vaguest, vaguest idea of something I wanna try. The shop is a current disaster. I've spent the past uh, several months putting insulation in here to try to make it so I was able to do stuff over the winter. It was moderately successful. Um, everything's out in the center because I've built a, a fold away paint booth um, because I'm currently finishing up two guitars. Uh, this one here is the, the Xanadu. This is the rethink redesign of the very first guitar I ever built back in 81. And there's all sorts of stuff about that on my channel. Um, and this one, uh, which I haven't documented quite the same way, is uh, my first uh, real commission um, for my friend Matt uh, out in the Outer Banks. This is a, a V5 with a nice maple top and tried something a little different with a PRS style binding and it's coming together real well, but they both need to be finished. Um, the Xanadu is a little farther along, clearly. Fun thing about this build is uh, the scratch build at least is I've essentially harvested my own wood and that's what this episode is about. So let's get on with it, shall we? All right, today marks the beginning of a new uh, adventure. It's uh, one that's a little bit sad and a little bit exciting. Um, 16 years ago when I was kind of in the middle of some jobs and was trying to figure out how to keep my sanity, um, my uh, wife uh, took the kids down to our mother-in-law's house for a week and I spent that week with my Jeep and some lumber and built the kids a tree house uh, at the back of our yard. And that tree house has been fantastic and stayed just as it needed to for all the years the kids wanted to play in it. Um, the problem was a few years ago, the back tree uh, died. I was afraid it was going to fall. Uh, the nice thing was at least the wind was coming from behind me, always this way. So I knew it would blow the tree back into the uh, ravine eventually. And two days ago that happened. I was startled how sad that made me. Um, as you can see, it is a bit of a mess right now. Today my buddy Jeff's coming over. We're going to get rid of all this, get this off the tree so it's safe. And we're gonna try to turn, we're gonna try to turn the, uh, the log into some slabs. It might be nothing but sawdust inside. But if I can get some wood that's mostly stable, or at least stabilize a slab, at least enough for one guitar. So that's the plan. Um, again, this is this is sad, uh, but at least I can commemorate it in some way. Jeff's here. Hi. He's the one I made that first guitar for. He's yeah. my first guinea pig. <laughs> um, so uh, we've started. We've started doing the thing, and uh, we got to get some scale here <laughs> about how big this freaking tree is. It's bigger than this. I thought we could chop through this thing with a couple of uh 18 inch 18 inch 16 inch mine's 16 inch and it's bigger than yours yeah uh, it's just as bigger than mine uh, chainsaws electric chainsaws and it's sort of working um we've already had our first casualty uh the sledgehammer for splitting the uh, log kind of met with a, a we didn't make a cut we didn't make a cut Something's happening.
Well, I'm supremely glad we got the uh, tree house down and the tree at least <laughs> started getting it cut up yesterday. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning on, what's today, the, the 22nd of January. And as of about five o'clock this morning when I got up, there was none of this stuff out yet. It's all happened in the past five hours. So, um, it's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. I can see. I'm gonna go get some coffee and plan the rest of my day, which doesn't involve cutting any more bits of tree, I don't think. <laughs> But the good news is uh, the stuff we got yesterday, um, I think will be great for the guitar or several, but um, I've got some plans. Uh, even if the wood is kind of a mess, I think I've got some plans. So today is the day that we're gonna pull the remaining three big ass logs out of the ravine. Um, Christina's coming over in a second with her Jeep and her winch. And we're gonna go back there and pull these logs out. At least that's the plan. Man, well, that was an adventure. So uh, I've got a lot of the wood out of that old treehouse tree. As you can see, there's some there, and there's some there, and there's some more over here. Many, many thanks to Christina and her uh, amazing Jeep. I gotta get me one of those again someday. Um, the next piece of this will be uh, when uh, Omer from Cincinnati Sawmill comes over and we slab these up. Um, I don't think I'll be able to use most of them without drying first, but this one here is very dry. So I think that's the that's the one I'll be, whoa, look at that, that's really bright. So I think that's the one that uh, I'll be making the uh, this guitar out of, among many others, definitely. I'm beat, I'm gonna go uh, get something cold to drink and, and go back to work. Work, work. Look at my hair. It's swell, isn't it? What is happening? Better get that fixed. Mm -hmm. 